Good morning, good morning. Thank you so much, I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, I really am. Anybody here from Liverpool? <laughs> okay. Oh, I got one, yes. Uh, uh, I must be honest and say that later on I'm going to be speaking about not just how important the arts are, but how much more important than we even know they are. Right here, uh, I've got all of the facts and figures that I would ever want. If I'd have stayed at school until my age now, I wouldn't know as much as is carried in this telephone. It auto-corrects my spelling. I just speak into it and it writes the words for me. It's got every little bit of information online that I will require for the rest of my life. I don't need all the facts and figures crammed into my head. I contend that in the years to come, we will change our education system completely. We will be teaching innovative thinking. We will be teaching creativity and we will be doing it through the arts. But right now, I'm going to talk to you about a little pet peeve that I've got. I mean, uh, I'm going to moan. I, that's the whole reason for coming to Washington, isn't it? We like to moan at Washington. You couldn't come here and compliment everybody, could you? Um, yeah, I saw Mr. Deeds goes to Washington. I don't know. Uh, obviously, being the executive producer of American Idol, and so you think you can dance, I audition hundreds and thousands of kids around this country. I probably audition more kids in singing and dancing than anybody else. It certainly feels that way. Uh, and let me tell you that I believe you are losing your musical heritage. We talk to these kids. We find out about their home lives. We find out their backgrounds. Uh, we ask them questions about what they know, who they like, be it singing or dancing. And during the time we've done this, we've seen the standard of talent rise across the country, both in singing and more especially in dancing, where now we've joined street kids with the train kids, and they're creating a different animal, uh, a brilliant one, one that accepts and opens boundaries and accepts ideas in. But the knowledge, the musical knowledge, is getting worse. One young man believed that Irving Berlin was a district in a city in Germany. I'm not joking with you. Fantasia Barino had never heard of George Gershwin or Porgy and Bess. It wasn't until we introduced her to the brilliant song, Summertime, that she grabbed the nation's vote and went on to win American Idol. Quite a few people have auditioned singing your national anthem. I guess it isn't taught in schools anymore because uh, one young man certainly was confused. He actually sang the song to a young Mexican boy asking him if he could see clearly as the sun came up. Yes, he sang the immortal lyrics, Jose, can you see by the dawn's early light? I am not joking. We can smile about this, but if you think about it, it's extremely serious. Dancers, on the other hand, are not quite as deluded with their talent as singers are, uh, basically because they have to study so hard uh, and they're accustomed to rejection. It's a dancer's middle name. The majority of kids I've met have never heard of Martha Graham. Yes, they've heard of Fred Astaire and Michael Jackson, uh, but Gene Kelly could easily be a woman and Sid Charisse could be a man. And isn't Gelsie Kirkland that guy who used to be in Frasier? <laughs> These are the things that I'm getting. I don't think you realize quite how much this country inspires the rest of the world. Certainly it inspired me, it inspired everybody that I know in my business in the UK whether it's concerts, movies, recordings, television, Hollywood, or Broadway, how sad that, that knowledge is now being lost. Trust me, 
England will never let you forget the Beatles. <laughs> it's all we ever had. <laughs> Let's talk about Aaron Copeland, the Gershwins, Irving Berlin, Cole Porter. You go on, Rodgers and Hammerstein, Lerner and Lowe, Leonard Bernstein, pop composers in the Brill Building, Barry Gordy, Smokey Robinson, Holland Dozier Holland, that whole Motown took over the world. Hollywood musicals took over the world. And now it's being forgotten in your own country. Please, let's find a way to maintain that legacy as it is America's heritage and needs to be passed on from generation to generation. So I look forward to talking about dance and education a little later on today, and I can't quite believe that 97% of your schools have no active classes for dance. It's disgusting. It's quite disgusting. We need to fight for that, and I'm going to be there doing it. Thank you very much.